What's up everybody, back in with another episode of The Sims 3. When I left off, my game froze and I was trying to get Madison into the singing career, which was not working. <laughs> but uh, I see it's a full moon, so I think I'm going to try and turn on zombies if I can. I don't even know if I can or not. Um, zombies. Where do you turn on zombies at? Or do they just happen? Or do they just... Is that one word? <laughs> Ordered ages. That's a different language. Um, I guess you can't turn on zombies. Maybe they just come in the, in the fall. That'd be kind of cool to see that. Oh, I forgot to get rid of these cars. I mean, these motorcycles. You know, I ain't even tripping. I think I'm going to just keep this Tesla in the garage. For real. The Tesla is cool, so we're just going to keep that in there. And I'm going to have Madison drive the G-Wagon. And I'm going to have myself drive the white Ferrari, I believe. Actually, I think I'm going to drive the Inventador. Yeah, there we go. All right, I want to see some zombies. It's time for Halloween in this motherfucker. Let's get some zombie action. I don't know where to, when they come, though. What does it say? Visit the graveyard during full moon. I think we might do that this episode. Hold up. Me and Madison go, to the, going, go out during a full moon. Okay. How about we go on a date to the graveyard? Oh... It's a horrible fucking date, but whatever. I think we're going to do that, though. Um, let's see. Ask out on date. Does that mean she'll follow me? Or did I click the wrong thing? Okay. All right, so we're, we're together now, right? That means we can go anywhere together. Like the buddy system I was talking about last episode. Or no, in The Sims 4, I think. A couple episodes ago. All right, the graveyard is way up here. So let's go here with the date. Kind of a creepy date, but I mean it is fall, you know. Halloween's right around the corner. Why not get some some scary spookiness going on? I don't know if my game can handle it, but we shall see. All right, we are going together, right? Come on, get in the Lambo with me. Get in the Lambo. Come on. Oh yeah, we're the coolest couple. We are the coolest couple in this Sim City world. Me and Madison own this damn city. Look at that couple we got the Versace pattern we got the Versace shorts the scarf we got the black Lambo we run in the world <laughs> we are so running the world I love that though all right let's see went to the graveyard I wonder if there's gonna be any zombies here where is Madison okay all right Madison let's make out like that's kind of sexy in a weird way make out in the dark graveyard Okay, we got some heal action, so you're gonna act like you don't know what to do. Come on, Romeo. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Okay, sit on the stool. Go sit over there. Alright, sit your ass down. Ask Madison to sit her ass down. I hope Madison isn't stuck. That would really suck. Where is Ass to join? I think Madison might be stuck in the ground. <laughs> I really think she might be stuck in the ground. Damn, Madison, are you really stuck in the ground? Damn, she is stuck in the ground. So this is the shit I be talking about, about The Sims 3. That you have a plan. My plan, I was trying to go to the graveyard, maybe make out. Maybe get a little balls deep action in, in the dark. Maybe see some zombies. And what happens? Madison gets stuck in the ground. <laughs> That's just my damn luck, right? Alright, so that means I have to reset the sim and that's going to ruin this entire date. Unless I put on move objects and then um, testing, cheats, enable, true, and then I buy on this lot. I think this might work. And then I can move her. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's improvising right there. What's my motto? Don't complain. Just make sure you get it done. <laughs> All right. Now we can do stuff like make out and streak. Maybe we could go streaking. That'd be kind of funny to streak around the graveyard on Halloween or not Halloween, but during a full moon. Let's make out and then let's streak. That's kind of hot. I like that. Is there a full moon I could see? I would love to get a picture of that. Where is the full moon at? Do they show it? 
Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so they're down here. All right. Let's go ahead and make out a little bit. And just for the fun of it, let's do... Let's do risky missionary with Madison in the dark, in the park. <laughs> There's nobody else around, right? And maybe we'll have a baby, maybe not. I mean, maybe I'll have another kid. Maybe not. It's all risky, right? I think that means that means it's risky. This is kind of raw, though. I like this. It's like a little teenage date, except we're grown. You know I'm down. All right, let's 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 go balls deep, and then let's streak around the entire graveyard. Oh, shit. That means we are going to have a baby. Damn. Well, I guess that was the risk, huh? <laughs> it looks like we're going to have some children coming in again. I want to adopt a kid, too, though. Um... All right, let's do romantic. Let's do a dip kiss and uh, let's take a picture together. How do we streak? See, her says streak. Mine. Oh, you have to streak by yourself. Okay, I get it. So we both have to hit streak on each other. That's hot. I like this. This is a raw date. I like this date. I wanted to back out a little bit because they're gonna get naked. Hold up, who are you, bro? What are you doing up here? This dude is in like a base game, dude. He's, I mean, not base game, but he like comes with the game. I see him all the time. Not this series, but like before. Did they get naked and streak? What's that? What's that? What's that noise? Hold up. What was that? Is somebody trying to rob me while I'm at the park acting stupid? <laughs> or no? Post in the comments if you want to go on a date like this. I think somebody might be trying to rob me though. Cause did you hear that noise? I got a burglar burglar alarm though, so um, maybe not. I don't know. I swear I heard some noises, and I'm like, what the hell? I don't see nobody coming up. I don't know though. You know I'm very fishy, very iffy when it comes to stuff like that. Or maybe because it was a creepy graveyard. Maybe that's what the bad movement was. I mean, move moodlet. It's a creepy graveyard, but we like. Are making out and stuff like it makes it less creepy doesn't it that's cool to do like this is my wife and I'm her husband and we still go on dates like this that's pretty tight I want to streak though they don't streak for very long see you hear that noise Oh, uh, maybe because it's ghosts. <laughs> Streaking is hilarious. <laughs> Madison wasn't down with it. I feel you. I'm glad, Madison. I really don't want my girl out here butt naked like that anyway. Oh, look. Who is that? There's a fairy down there? Where are you going? Where's Madison going? Who are you mourning? Oh, go console your girl, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> This dude running around butt ass naked while she's crying. Alright, go console your girl. I hope you guys can even see this episode. It's really dark. I might have to brighten up the contrast or something. Alright, go console your girl, hold her, and make her feel better. Alright, and let's, um. I think we should probably end the date. I think it's about that time. We had a good date. It's a good little date. And we can both go to the crib. I don't know if we're going to go on separate cards or not because our moods aren't the best. <laughs> that was kind of fun, though. I've never done that before. Nope. Of course, she's going to get in a total different car, even though we're rolling out pretty fresh, though. We got the black Aventador and the G-Wagon. You know, I saw a girl at the Apple Store the other day. She looked like Kylie Jenner, for real. I think she might have wanted to be like Kylie <laughs> because she, like, she had her hair... Her clothes and she had a black G Wagon. I was like, damn, is that really Kylie in this bitch? But of course, Kylie wouldn't be in Ohio, you know? Like, why the hell would she be in Ohio? But you never know. She could have been, but I highly doubt that. All right, back to the house we go. So I guess the zombies don't come out all the time. Somebody post in the comments how you get the zombies. Because I know I used to get them all the time, and I said I didn't like them, and I turned them off, but I don't remember how I turned them back on. 
Don't sleep in that bed, bro. Sleep in your own bed. Damn, man, her energy is horrible. I mean, at least his is. Damn, hers is too. Y'all need to go to sleep like yesterday. <laughs> For real. All right, y'all go to sleep, and then tomorrow, um, what are we going to do in here tomorrow when they wake up? Madison might be getting pregnant soon. I'm so glad that glow is gone. That shit drives me nuts. I like it sometimes, but sometimes I don't. Um, why are they standing here? <laughs> it's like everybody's just kind of thinking about what we're doing. Um, yeah, Madison might be getting pregnant soon, so we might be having another baby. I might adopt a baby. Like, if I have a baby with Madison, maybe I'll adopt a kid, too. Wow, I have Versace boxers. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Overload, Overload on Versace-ness. But, um, yeah, so I think we might be having another baby, maybe two. I might have this whole town full of my kids. That's why I said I'm going to try not to end this series, because it, it really could go on forever, for real. I mean, I'm not going to make it go on forever, but... I could definitely make it keep going for a long time. It's gonna be like the most legendary Sims 3 play, uh, the most legendary Sims 3 Let's Play on YouTube. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> I have all the celebrities in here and everything. I think I might start messing with the celebrities again too. Like, man, I think I'm gonna bring Iggy into. I might have Lil Sunny do like a scandal with Iggy, maybe. I don't know. Um, I know I'm going to have Christina and Bieber pretty much settled down. They're going to start having kids, which means I'm going to have grandkids, which is cool. Even though me and Madison aren't aging at all. Um, I don't know. I might change that. I might, I might make me and Madison age up. It's just I really don't want to because that's me and I'm, like, not old. And Madison's not old, so I don't really want to make us old. But I don't know. Who knows? What the series holds, you know? All I know is, I want some Versace sheets. I mean, bed stuff. Damn, man, I really wish they had that hyperspeed in The Sims 3. This shit takes forever. Looks like they're waking up now, though. Somebody is, isn't they? Aren't they? Yeah, Madison is. Alright, Madison, what you want to do? You need to cook some food for us. Go over here and cook up some, some breakfast for us. Um... Actually, it's brunch. Oh shit, she got morning sickness, don't she? Damn, man, you about to pop out some more babies. I'm loving it, though. I don't know how many kids I would want to have in real life. I always, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like one is cool, like, if you just have one kid. Because I'm an only child, so I have a half-sister, but uh, I'm the only child. And I know how cool it is being an only child. Because you get, you get everything you want. You get all your parents attentions and you're like the superstar but if you have like six or seven brothers and sisters that's also kind of cool because you have a lot of siblings y'all can you know play with each other y'all can always support each other and it's cool when you have a lot of siblings too so in real life I don't even know how many kids I want to have but I feel like if I was with a girl that's like Madison right here like I might just have a million kids like pop out like 50 kids but not really though. I don't like 10. I don't know. I really don't know. I guess it depends on what how I am when I get older and like what my wife would want to do cuz I don't even know how many kids I would want to have. I know I want to at least have one kid. That's for damn sure. I really want two. I really want a girl and a boy, but I mean you can't really decide. You might have like 10 boys and one girl. Even though when I whenever I have kids Shit, we might be too uh, into the future. I mean, we might be <laughs> we might be advanced enough where we could actually determine what we want. But I don't even know if I do that though. That's kind of weird. Like, you want your kid to be a boy or a girl? Uh, I think I want a girl. All right, what color you want her hair to be? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with uh, brown. Uh, do you want her to be athletic? Do you want her to be like really like making a sound? That would be crazy. I could so see that happening in the future, though. It's taking Madison forever to cook these pancakes, though. Can you put a plate down for me? Come on, put a plate down for me. Put a plate down for me. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, Madison. Come on, please, please, please. And you didn't do it. Damn. You inconsiderate motherfucker. 
Hold up, let's grab a plate. That would have been really cool if she would have put the plate down, though. But I guess I can get my own plate, you know? No biggie. And I'm loving it's fall time with the leaves and stuff. I'm loving that. If you live on the East Coast or wherever, somewhere where it gets cold, you know how cool it is when all the leaves change colors. It's pretty tight. I don't know, do, do the leaves change colors even if you live in like a hot place? No, they can't, right? No, they don't change colors. Because changing colors means they're dying, and they're not, they wouldn't be dying unless the temperatures changed. Yeah. Unless you live in like Arizona where the plants really don't exist that often. But, I don't know. I want to travel the world anyway. Catch wild nanite. I kind of want to go back to the future. But I'm going to have a kid in the present. Like I said, I might adopt a kid. How do you even adopt a child? Do you get to pick? Because I'm so picking if I get to adopt a child. I might get some hate in the comments for that. Like, you know what? You shouldn't be picking. You should just help a child out. It's like, that's great and all. But I really want to adopt like a little like Asian girl or something. That would be kind of cool. Why won't, why won't he put this in the refrigerator? Like, I might adopt like a little Asian girl or something. But I don't think you can. Like, I don't think you could pick. I think that's all up to them. Alright, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Madison's not showing yet, so maybe she won't be pregnant. But I'm pretty sure if you hear that sound, that means she's going to get pregnant. I don't know. I want her to get pregnant, so let's do some more dog, doggy style on the couch. But yeah, so I think I'm going to have another kid with Madison. And then have, like I said, I'm going to adopt a kid too, so... I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, I can adopt a kid and like make it. Well, I guess I could just adopt a kid and then change the appearance of the kid later. I could always do that. You know what I meant to do? I meant to go check and see if she can get another promote, uh, another profession for the uh, the job. Hold up. Let me do that and see if she can get in that singing career. Cause I want to get her into the singing careers, so she can do some performing. And then I'm gonna get into the science. I think I'm already in science, aren't I? I almost feel like I shouldn't even have a, have a job at this point. But jobs can be kind of fun, mostly if it's a profession. Maybe I should give my dude a profession. I don't know, we'll see. I want to make Madison a singer though, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, it's still not popping up. Can somebody post in the comments and tell me why that's not popping up? Because I don't understand. And it's just making me want to, you know, like, be like, fuck it. Club going up on a Tuesday. Damn, man, Snapchat is going ham. Um, Alright, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Madison wants to get her cooking skill up. That's cool, but it's not really necessary. And I want to go to Egypt. We could go on, e we could go to Egypt. Huh, hold up, hold up, let me think a second. Maybe we could go to Egypt now before she has the baby for like three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's go to Egypt. Oh, hold up. I got a good moodlet for kissing under a full moon. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this was a cool episode. We got a lot of balls deep action in. We got a nice romantic spooky date. And we back in the crib with me and Madison. What did I say I was about to do? Oh, yeah. Go to Egypt. Can I even go to Egypt like that? I only want to go for like two days because Madison's going to start showing and then like I don't want her to give birth in Egypt even though that might be kind of cool I don't know Yeah, you could only go for three days but see three days might be her pregnancy though you know what fuck it we're going to Egypt so <laughs> next episode we're in Egypt but uh all right everybody I'm gonna pause this episode here thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in Egypt tomorrow peace